an important question. <sighs> Little Yankel had a question to ask the Malamed elementary school teacher. Malamed, what is life? I can't answer this question, said the teacher. I'm only a Malamed. Go ask the rabbi. He will have an answer. Yankel went to see the rabbi. The Shams, the caretaker of the synagogue, led Yankel into the library where the rabbi worked. It was filled with books from the floor to the ceiling. Surely the answer must be here, Yankel thought to himself. Seems like the animals have their answers. Life is a piece of cheese. Life is catnip. Life is a wool coat. Life is a glass of milk. <laughs> Life is an egg. Life is a duck quack quack. Life is a goose feather. Pillow. Hmm. Okay. All right. Animals have their opinion. Let's see what the rabbi says. Rabbi, what is life? Yango asked the rabbi. The rabbi stroked his beard, took off his glasses, and replied, This is a great question, Yanko. I am only a rabbi of a small village. I do not have an answer to such a question. I would advise you to go see the chief rabbi. He is a great wise man who lives high on top of a mountain between this village and the next. They say he talks to God. So Yanko packed some of his clothing and traveled for two days and two nights until he reached the top of the mountain where the chief rabbi lived. Yanko was surprised to see that the house had only one room. There was only one table on which lay a very old Bible and one chair. The chief rabbi was in a state of deep meditation while standing on his head. He didn't even look at Yanko when he walked in. Yanko was scared. This rabbi was a tzaddik, a saintly person of great wisdom. But Yanko managed somehow to ask his question. What is life? Yanko asked. Narisha Boychik. Silly boy, answered the chief rabbi. He remains standing on his head. Life, of course, is a fountain. Life is a fountain? Answered Yankel. Why is life a fountain? The chief rabbi thought about this for a while. He continued to stand on his head. Okay, he said. So life is not a fountain. A saying. A sage can also be half a shmeel. A fool. <laughs>